everyone. Today I come to Pat Pong Museum. I want to buy a ticket. Let's go. Come follow me. สวัสดีค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่
This is um, CIA bar, one of the bar that owned by um, the pilot of Air America. So he do this bar, and then first it's just like sport bar, and then one day the lady she drunk customer, and then she start dancing on the counter, and then police come and then uh, uh, ask the owner say, Rick, you don't have license for dance. You cannot let the uh, people dance. And Rick said, okay, dance in Thailand is mean two people together, but it's only one lady, so it's not dance. So the police cannot do anything because, oh yeah, it's not dance. After that, he got the idea like, okay, if one person just dance on the counter, it's not called dance. So he hired the young lady to dance on the counter, and that become the first Agoko in Southeast Asia because of the law. So and also this bar, we make like 1970. So all the CIA they used to do this area to be um, like safe place to sit down and drink. Yes. So and our museum serve the drink too. We have a full bar. We have bartender. So you can drink it here too. Only one museum in Thailand that have the bar and then um, enjoy the drink walk with the beer and then listen to the history over a hundred years. This is safe house of the CIA. They used to live in here. This is first pizza in Thailand, they call Madrid. This is the bar, Safari bar. We call Safari because of that time, the owner carried the tiger and the bear walk on the street. That's why we call Safari bar. Super Star, very famous, 1970, 80. All the tourists coming, they have to come to this bar. It's very famous, Ogogo bar. This is also um, Mississippi Queen bar around this area, also very famous. First Japanese restaurant owned by the, um, the Japanese soldier when World War II. He loved Thailand, so he didn't go back country and then he opened the restaurant. This is a CIA office. They use this one to be office and they live over there. So they walk maybe um, 60 meters from the, his safe house to be office. No one, no one know that he's CIA. Thai people think he's a businessman because like, um, he wear, like, we call them like black tie and white shirt. This is a photo, black tie and white shirt. This is look all like business man, but it's actually all CIA. They come here and pretend they're doing business. They, they, didn't, they didn't tell anybody they're CIA until later. Like after like um, the finish, the, world, uh, uh, the Vietnam finish, Vietnam war finish. So after that, we know the story. Like I told you, this is Vietnam. Wow, this is Lao. One of the CIA named Tony Poe. He famous too because like um, he he the one sent to Lao to train the Hmong people to fight with Lao communists. He killed a lot of people, and then in the forest, I think he kind of by himself speaking English and all the Hmong people. So he kind of not crazy, but like um, something weird. So he cut the ear and report, send the report. And he got a lot of ear, that's why the story. And then the end of his life, he fell from the CIA. So he walked around in Patpo. Many people know him. Many people, they don't know like how, how like his, his story become. But actually he's, he killed a lot of people. And also like we have the story, the serpent, new exhibition about the silly killer um, that killed um, at least in Thailand five body that we found and also in India and in Nepal um, and in Netflix if you see the movie that also happened in Patpong too Saladang and Patpong yeah right now he in jail in Nepal very rich because Netflix buy the story to make the movie so that one I recommend you guys to watch so yeah so this our museum not only history we have many things mixed we have we have fun with the, the tour guide that tell you the story. So I would like to recommend you guys or invite you guys to come see our museum. So thank you very much for listening and watching me. Thank you, Kapun Ka. Okay, in our museum, not only you can um, learn the history, listen to history, we also have the book to sell like art or the book that um, 
the story in Pat Pong. So he Kun Randy, he the one wrote this book and then it's a kind of bestseller on this museum too. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, I wrote this book because um, from 2012 to 2019, I had a go-go bar called The Strip. And uh, I was just retired and I wanted to talk about my experience of uh, owning and operating a business, but also a business in a foreign land, uh, all the do's and don'ts and all the struggles we went through to operate this business. Uh, I did uh, for five, five, excuse me, about five months, I think, uh, we had the protests going here. It was pretty tough. Uh, now, tourists were reluctant to come here. Uh, anyway, I did lose money on that those period, that five months. But overall, in the five years, I did make money on it, and it was a very uh, enlightening experience for me, uh, owning and operating a go-go business. Anyway, it is available either in the museum here in hardcover or you can go to Amazon.com you can get it both in hardcover as well as ebook um, so that's pretty much it <laughs> okay this book um, it's interesting to note that it's it's about a go-go bar but it's not your typical go bar go go bar we uh, we actually enhanced the entertainment value of the industry we had uh, snake shows rock and roll show theme parties birthday parties it was a place that a lot of couples went to and it wasn't your typical, I call it meat market, where you just take the lady out. It was, uh, it was a place to hang out in the evening times, and it was considered one of the best go-go bars when I had it. That's just not my personal view, but other people have told me the same thing. I love Queen of Pattaya, yay!